Hi, I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint some watercolor strawberries today. The materials that you'll need are a hard surface and some thick paper, some paint brushes, pencils, watercolor of course, some water, and a napkin. I really like the praying version of watercolor and I like using lighter pencils with harder lead and small brushes for details. I like using the lighter lead because it doesn't show up as much when you paint over it and I'm using some reference pictures as well. So you can put your water in a mug or a cup if you like. I'm just lazy so I put it straight onto the tray of my watercolor and I recommend rinsing off your tray if you do use this method just so um, your watercolor stays clear and all that old paint doesn't make your new stuff muddy. So I'm just mixing a lighter pink and I'm mapping out all the light kind of highlight areas of my strawberry first. Now I'm moving on to a darker red and I'm going to paint the kind of shadowy areas of my strawberry avoiding all of the little places where the seeds would be. And I'm just going to kind of blend those colors in. I'm using a little bit of water to smooth out any patchy areas. Now I'm going to add a little bit of brown and mix it with the dark red that I made before and I'm going to use this as the darkest shadow of our strawberry. Now I'm going to be taking the first dark red that we made, not the one with the brown in it, and just marking all the little seeds, but only in the highlight area. I'm going to leave the ones elsewhere blank. And then I'm going to darken the very center and bottom of the little seeds with a little bit of that kind of brownish red that we made. Now I'm going to begin working on the leaves. I'm sorry for the train in the background. I have a lighter green for the leaves that are going to be more in the front of the strawberry and a darker one for those in the back and I'm just going to be mixing and blending these colors until I like how the leaves look and I'm satisfied with them. For the open strawberry, I just added a little bit of orange to my red on the outskirts of it and then I'm adding a little bit more orange in the more um, closer to the center of this uh, strawberry that I get. As you can see here, just getting lighter and lighter and more orange as I go. And I'm leaving a little space because there's a little white vein kind of things that reach out to the seeds and I'm going to leave those blank. 
And after I like how I've got the strawberry blended and I've added a little bit of green and more dimension, I'm going in with a yellow and placing that in little bitty dots where the seeds would be. For the shadow of the berries, I'm using kind of a black with a little, well, it's a brown with a little bit of black mixed into it, and it's gonna be darker the closer to the berry it is, and then I'm going to add a little bit more water and dry off my brush, and just kind of pulling that color further and further away to make a gradient for the shadow. And you can leave it as it is if you want, or add more berries or less, but I liked to add a little bit of um, decoration to the rest of the page, so I took my finger and made little yellow dots, and then later off camera, I, I ran out of storage, I kind of splattered some more yellow around the page just to give it a little bit of character or something, and that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.